check out our Native Instruments Machine Micro Instructional DVD series. We cover everything, every feature. You get seven hours of lessons on four DVDs, or you can purchase the download. Check out this video preview. Now, my next option here is the preferences for colors. Now, with this new operating system, this 1.8 operating system, the ability to have different colored pads, different colored scenes, different colored groups is really great. And you can see it right here, for example. We've got the kick drums are all one color. The hi-hats and the snares are all one color. The hi-hats are the snare drums. It makes it easier. You could be grooving. You might forget where it sounds at. I know what those sounds are. I know these are samples. I know the cymbals are all going to be green. Or the, anything that's going to be metal is going to be green. And it makes it that much easier when working on a project. Now here's how you can set your colors up so you can get busy and have that pretty cool looking machine micro. Now, we go to here. We go to colors. And here it says auto. You may not want auto, so what I want to do probably is select something. Like for example here, we've got scenes, right? So I can say this is scenes. I want my scenes to be this color green. And I say, okay, that's okay. So I go to my next scene here, bam, see that? It's green. I can go to here, I'll type in new, and then press enter, and now it's green, you see? So you can make certain scenes certain colors, which is kind of cool in case you want to look back and say, that's the bridge right there, I want to fix that particular scene. Okay, lime green was kind of cool, right? I can also go back here and say I want yellow and it's going there. And I got yellow. That's kind of cool. So the scene selected, it'll just change the color. Which uh, works for me. I got no problem with that. And I can go to here again. Let's try this. See, it changed the color. It's kind of cool. So back to here. We'll go to auto and leave it as such. And next here we have group colors. So here, I can go to here. I can leave it auto. But I have a group selected, I could change its color. So currently that group is green, rather that group is orange. And I want to make it green, obviously, since I said it. And I go here and say, okay. And then now, that group is green, see that? So that only happens, obviously, to a new group. That's why I said that. I sort of like played with you. But don't worry about it, it's all good. Here you can't do it to a group that already has a color. So let's forget that. It already has a color, we can't do that. But a new group will get the new color you selected for it. That's kind of cool. So back into preferences here. And I want to probably get rid of this because it's really starting to get a neon effect here to my eye view. And it gives me what the auto has already selected for G, which is kind of cool. And then here we have sound color. And sound color relates to these sound slots right here. So find the colors you like, put them in, and have fun playing with your machine. Also, what you want to do is that when you're loading and you're loading up your project, I prefer to keep this selected, load with colors, so that way if I'm working on something last night, I'll wake up the next day, I got the perfect idea, if it doesn't load up with colors, I don't have that same feel as I had before. So be aware of that. 